Jackie Fargo, big gash. Jackie Fargo brings Parker into those turnbuckles. Oh, he gets up and 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 he gets up time keeping any order Don Fargo blood coming out of that big gash on his head he and Stillinger exchanging rights while Jackie and Parker pound away at one another Parker just leveled just leveled right in front of us and on the other side Stillinger working on Don Fargo all four men in the ring at one time. The Fargo's won in this match, and it's been some kind of excitement all the way through. Right now, John Fargo fleeing from the head. Sends Dillinger and a Parker. Parker's head is open, open up. Jackie with a big right. Another one. John Fargo kicking away at Dillinger. While Jackie Fargo, the fabulous one, lowers the ball on Parker. Paul Martin drops to the canvas. Al Green manages these outlaws, and outlaws are just, it's a pretty good name for them. Al Green issuing encouragement as Dillinger pounding away at Don Fargo, and Jackie Fargo with things going his way on the other side, has got Parker at a pretty good disadvantage. Blood streaming from the eyes and forehead of Cowboy Parker. Al Green with Don Fargo on the outside of the ring. Fargo now with a chair, bang, on the head of Parker. Jackie Fargo is over the Fargo's nose. Start using that chair on everybody in sight. Fargo unloading on Parker and Dillinger and referee Paul Morton. Jackie Fargo using that chair. Al Green into the ring. Look at Big Al go to work on Jackie Fargo, the manager. Dillinger, Parker, and Al Green, all three are now on the two Fargo brothers. The bell is sounded. Jackie Fargo just drops referee Paul Horton, and I'm sure that's going to be an automatic disqualification. Fargo's racing their hat in victory. decision from ringside as the Fargo's have been disqualified as they were using that chair. Unnecessary roughness displayed by the Fargo in the Fargo tradition. Jackie and Don go down to disqualification to the outlaws, Parker and Dillinger, and their manager, Al Green. That'll do it this time from the Fairgrounds Arena. This is Mike Duncan. Stay tuned for more wrestling action. gentlemen, Rufus R. Jones is in trouble. At this moment, he's having trouble with his two opponents, both of whom have ganged him in this last minute or two. George Goulas started in just a moment ago, was sent back by the referee. Look at that. Bobby Maine has been the chief tormentor of Rufus Jones, but his partner has been doing a pretty good job, and now look at Sir Clement. The pesky manager of the team entering into the fray with his umbrella. Charlie Fulton back in action now as Maine comes out. And Rufus has really soaked up a lot of punishment, but he's still on his feet. Groggy, shaky, but still on those big number 12. Back in there is Bobby Maine. But Rufus refuses to go down. George Goulas across the way, waiting for a tag, wants to come in, but... Jones so far has not been able to make it. He's going. He's got it. And George Goulas is in the match again. He's been waiting, and now he pours it on both men. There's one. Look out, Sir Clement. Maine goes down. He's going after Fulton now. At first, they go together. Boy, 
down like two mighty big oak trees. And George Goulis has pretty well put things in control, under his control, as he has come in the ring on that tag from Rufus R. Jones. Bolton and Maine both had to give way to George Goulis. Now it's one-on-one. -on -one. Bobby Maine standing up to George, asking him to hold on a minute. He wants to have a moment. He wants to apparently shake hands and say that everything will be on the up and up from here on. I don't believe George will go for that one, however. Holding him now, Rufus Jones with those big arms around him, and George Goulis getting in some good punches. Rufus Jones getting in a couple over there for himself, too. This has been a tremendous tag battle. It's a no disqualification, no time limit match. It could go on, I don't know how much longer. Well, as long as needs be for that matter until one team scores the deciding ball. It's been a seesaw battle most of the way. We must be well into, oh, close to 15 minutes already. The 10 minute time signal was given quite some time ago. George Goulet's in a bit of trouble now. Bobby Main working on him. Rufus Jones is coming in the ring. He has one foot in, all the way in now. The referee yells at him and sends him back out. And now George Goulis switches around and he puts his opponent on the floor. Charlie Fulton coming in on the tag. George is ready for him. Fulton backing away. That's bad. Bobby Main reaches around, caught George with his back to him and slapped the right into his stomach. 